Hey everybody, it's Mary at Yard Art R Us. I hope you guys are doing great tonight. I'm gonna do a little bit of a painting job, but before I start, y'all know my fish has been sitting around, so I'm gonna use a little Windex on it to get the dust, the dander, because we have lots of dogs around here. In fact, y'all might be hearing from my dogs here in a little Hello. bit because they have been in trouble because they have been being bad. My uh -huh. little dogs are being bad. <laughs> I don't, can y'all believe that? My dogs are being bad. That's our Myra. <laughs> Hey, that's Myra. Hey, Myra, how are you? And uh, Myra, you know what it's like around here. They won't stop. Um, uh, Sheba, that's enough. I don't even know why I bother y'all. I don't even know why I bother. Hi, Ava. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little paint tonight. I'm gonna paint this fish. Honestly, I couldn't decide what to do with him. So here's what I did. I painted him a seafoam green. Actually painted him white. Then painted the uh, number eight seafoam green. Then I took seafoam green and teal. So this color and this color, and I mixed it together, right? And that's what I'm gonna start with. Y'all hear my mutts? Hey, Sheba, Sheba. <laughs> you know, they're just like a bunch of crazy kids. They don't wanna do nothing until you get on here and you decide you wanna do something. Then they gotta start making all this racket, right? Y'all hear them? <laughs> but they're my mutts and I love them. So what you gonna do? So um, Connie's being our camera person for what, two nights in a row now, Con? Exactly. Wow, we must be living large to get her to be our camera person for that long. But hey, I'm gonna take it wherever I can get it. Now, I um, really could not, I don't have a good seafoam, um green shading color that i like so that's why i mixed some of this teal with seafoam and i came up with kind of a almost like a kind of reminds me of a beachy color if you will and then we're going to do that and y'all can hear bruce in there Y'all settle down. They're not going to. That ain't what he's doing. Oh, that's not what he's <laughs> He peppered it with a little spice. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, he gets irritated, and I kind of can't blame him, but he doesn't have a lot of patience. I'm the one that has a lot of patience for the animals, y'all. But that's all right. He does feed them all the time. He's the one that feeds them. He's the one that um, does make sure they have water right they miss myra they miss myra they sure do myra how is um oh what's the new doggy's name um uh, not remy that's the older one sammy how's sammy i think about her sometimes myra used to work with us and she would bring sammy when she was trying to uh, potty train the dog and sammy's a very cute 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 puppy well she's probably not just a puppy anymore uh, English Bulldog, I think is what she is. And when Myra would bring her over, the minute she saw the dog food bowl, she would run to the dog food bowl. And she, Hi, was, she was just a little puppy. So my little fishy, oh Lord, y'all, going the wrong end. Ava wants to know, she said her paint builds up on the sides and how does she even it out? Okay, when, tell me Ava, what do you mean by the sides? Do you mean the sides of the brush right there? I'm not sure if that's what she means because mine does too if you mean that it builds up right there what i do is i ignore that build up and i keep going and uh the longer you make strokes right in other words you keep going with that stroke it will thin it out and i'm just kind of going in the middle here so i don't know maybe he looks like he's got the chicken pox a little bit but he's cute <laughs> i think i think he's cute and I'm gonna give him, eh, let's do this here. And I'm just kinda, notice that's not perfect, is it? So I'll just kinda come back here and do this a little bit more. There we go, I'm just kinda even it out. But I wanted him to look kinda beachy and give me a color scheme of what you might think of the sea and the water. There we go, and I might do one right over here. Can't get too crazy with it because I still got to come back in and do something with that. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a little bit. Okay, y'all, my dogs went outside, so they're actually being good. I can't believe it. All right, so I'm going to wash out this brush. Oh, he's cute. It's just a very simple little fish pattern. Nothing complicated at all about him. 
but sometimes the more simple ones to me are the cuter ones. So when I wash out that brush, these uh, bristles get stuck together. So sometimes I just do this. I want to make those bristles fan apart because I need there to be space. I need those bristles to be apart from each other a little bit. If Hi, Debbie. Hey, Debbie. If they're all stuck together, you can't get any paint in there. See? So I'll do this a lot of times. Ava said, like on the circle that you just did, uh -huh. how do you even out the paint to where it's not stuck? Okay, so what I do on something like that, Ava, if you look, and Connie, I want you to show her, this this particular circle really has a lot more paint than this circle, for example, right? I'm going to come along and put some white in that. So if you look at my circles, they are not identical. So that's lesson number one. I don't worry about them being identical. we got more paint here than we do there. I'm not worried about that. And then if you do have, like, let's say, Ava, you have a lot of paint over here, but you don't over here, take that brush and just keep doing, show her how my fingers are doing. See, take it like that and just keep doing that. And is she using too much paint? Could be, yeah. So you might practice on some cardboard or some paper and put a lot, well, put what you th think of as a lot of paint, do it if it doesn't look good. Rinse that brush and just put a little bit of paint and then do the same thing until you kind of get that gauge of how much paint you think you are really happy with as far as it looking the way you want it to look, right? All right. Y'all hear the dogs running in and out of the house? That was Sheba. She was chasing something, we're not sure. Okay, so, and again, this is not all perfect, but, um, that's not, I don't think that's the goal. All right, that's not my goal. I'll put it to you that way. Okay, so I've got a script liner and some black paint. To me, what part of what makes this guy cute is the big eyes. And you're gonna have big eyes. You really need to do this, outlining. That's so cute. He's kind of bug-eyed looking a little <laughs> bit, but that's all right, he's cute. That's what makes him cute, part of it, is, is those eyes. Let me know if I'm making y'all dizzy with all this. Oh, Connie, you're the best camera person we ever did have. Well, was, well I'm the only one, so. <laughs> That's true, she's the only camera person I ever did have, y'all. That's why I'm perfect. <laughs> That's why she's the perfect <laughs> one. <laughs> Come here, Lee. So y'all, I'm gonna be doing a lot of lives this week because I'm trying to take off uh, Friday and Saturday. And um, I gotta kinda, I'm filling in for, really. Hi, Terry. Hey Terry, how are you? Ashley was supposed to do this, but as y'all know, she's otherwise in great gauge being pregnant. So I'm having to kind of fill in for her. And uh, so you're probably gonna see me a lot this week. Trying to get caught up on some stuff that we need to do lives on so y'all can do them for your springtime or Easter. Hi, Devin. I'm just making my eyes. And see, just outlining those eyes, super cute. And I'm gonna go back to picking up my... Miss Terry said, you're doing great. Ah, thank you, Terry. You know, and it's like my grandmother used to say about cooking. So my grandmother on my mom's side cooked every day, every Sunday after church, we went to her house and there was a lot of us there. And uh, we would always say what a great cook she was. And she would say, well, I don't know that I'm a great cook, but I am a, I will cook, you know. So I think a lot of it, doing anything is, is just doing it, right? So I'm going to put in some paint on there. I'm going to take this off a little bit. I'm going to just kind of do this. I'm going to give him some little bit of color there, okay? I'm not putting a lot of color. If you don't like that, you don't have to put that color on there. But I like to sometimes do the unexpected right and if you're not expecting blue in the eyes then i put blue in the eyes because that's part of what i like to do all right so now i have my teal y'all this is just straight number seven this one right here i've got my teal so i base coated this in white actually ashley base coated this and gave it to me to do the live with and then put number eight seafoam and then i mixed my shading color of teal and seafoam and that's what i did my circles in now I'm going to take this teal, and I gotta get some paint on here, right? So this is my way of having blue and green on something. 
and having it that kind of uh, beachy. Um, then I'll take a little bit of that brush and just very lightly do that. Almost where you really can't notice it, okay? Now I'll come up under here, just a little bit of strokes like this. And just give him a, a little bit of teal, okay? And then we're gonna come over here. So there's not a huge difference in the color between the teal and the teal seafoam that I shaded in, that, mi that I mixed in. And I'll come here. Always got to do this, right? Miss Ava, did you see the video that I gave uh, posted to you yesterday on shading and outlining? Hopefully she did. It's just a lot. Ava, I just think it is practice, 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 practice. It's kind of like, you know, when you're trying to learn to play a musical instrument or something of that nature. And, and the live she did yesterday was a lot of shading and a lot of outlining. Mm -hmm. Terry said shading makes all the difference. Yes, it does. It really does. And um, it's one of those that, you know, if you're not good at it, you just kind of keep working it and working it and working it. And then one day you'll look at it and you'll say, you know what, that doesn't look too bad. Because in the beginning, you always think everything looks bad, right? Remember what you had me do with the piece of butcher paper? Yeah, you get a piece of butcher paper or any kind of newspaper or cardboard and just practice and practice and practice and practice. And really it's about how you hold that brush and muscle memory. So muscle memory, if you're trying to learn anything or remember anything, it's uh, you do it over and over and over until the muscles that you use, in this case, your arm and shoulders and fingers, they get so used to doing that, they don't. you don't even think about it. I See, I don't even think about it anymore, but it's just uh, a matter of practicing. And don't be hard on yourself when it doesn't look as great as you thought it was going to do. There's still, in fact, Con has seen me the last couple of days paint and repaint several items because I didn't like it. So it happens. It really does happen. Okay, so we got that. Okay. Almost done, y'all. See this short little video? How cute it is. Cute he is. Full of shading and outline. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's do this over here, see if I'm gonna like that. Mm. Okay, hold on, we got a little problem, y'all. It's not, it's a little bit separated, so I'm gonna stir, 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 stir. Okay, let's try it this way. Okay. Now, I want to point out, maybe to some of y'all looking at this, again, look, this has a lot more paint on this circle than this one does. Not worried about that one bit. Not at all. Because it's handmade. Yep. It's a very simple design. There's not a whole lot to him. I am, of course, in just a minute, going to pick up my script liner and do some white highlights because y'all know me. Y'all know I'm going to do that. But I had to put some white dots in the middle here. Okay, let me pick up my script liner. And y'all tell me, um, does it help for those of you that have subscribed to the text? I've been good about sending text out. Just send me a thumbs up or a yes or a no telling me, has the texting been helpful as far as when we go live and notifying you? Has that worked for you? We're just curious. Yes or no, or thumbs up, thumbs down? It helps me. Usually Miss Debbie has to keep me on track. Yeah, Connie said it helps her know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hopefully it is, but you know, we need to know either way. We really do. Hi, Laura. There we go, y'all. It dramatically changes it. Mm-hmm, it really does. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to come up here like that, like that. Also, while I'm here, I am, um, we are working uh, behind the scenes with Shopify to be able to offer to you guys, because this has come up a se several times, that y'all would have the ability to order blanks even when they're out of stock, but you would get an email and say, this item is out of stock. You got to give us two weeks to produce it. So we're working with Shopify to make that possible because I have people like that want blanks from last year that I, I we, we all know our garage setup. We have such a small area. We can't carry every blank in stock all the time. But if we had a way of offering those of you, I had a girl who wants some of the Christmas nativity pieces that she did not get last year. And I told her, I said, well, let me check and see if we can figure a way to let you order when it's out of stock. Give me a couple of weeks, I'll cut it. Of course, then we would email you. So we're working on that. For those of you that wanna order things that we don't have, uh, if you can give us time to cut it, and if we can make this system work, we will do it. Now notice my pinky, that's helping me anchor to keep things pretty doggone steady. Mm -hmm. Now I like that, and I think the white is important to do that. But I'm gonna do this too. Just a tiny one. Mm -hmm. Okay, haven't been on here very long. Y'all, he's cute. <laughs> Who doesn't <laughs> like a, a green and blue fish? <laughs> so there's my fishy. I'll probably be on tomorrow doing the bird wearing a sombrero. And I also have one uh, Easter bunny that's popping up out of the ground that I need to do. I'm going to try to maybe do that tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, we'll be taking off on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we're trying to get a lot of work done this week. But thumbs up if you like the texting service. If that's good, let us know. Obviously, let us know if it's not because we need to know. And uh, hopefully, I will see y'all tomorrow. Thank you. Here's my fish. <laughs>